Alright, so in this problem, I have x to the power of square root of x is equal to 10. So, to solve this, I'm going to rewrite this as x squared, the square root of x squared, to the power of the square root of x is equal to 10. And the square root of x squared is the same thing as x. So that's why I'm allowed to do that. And now, this is the same thing as the square root of x to the power of 2 times the square root of x. So I can move this 2 over to the front. Now, if I let y equal the square root of x, I'm going to substitute in y into my original equation. So I get y to the power of 2y is equal to 10. Now I'm going to take the natural log, or ln, on both sides. So I have ln of, two of y to the power of 2y is equal to ln of 10. And now, if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So it's going to equal b times ln a. So in this case, I can move 2y to the front. So I get 2y times ln y is equal to ln 10. Now, if I divide both sides by 2, I get y times ln y is equal to ln 10 over 2. Now, if I take the w Lambert function of something in the form a times e to the power of a, this is simply equal to a. So y, I'm going to rewrite as sorry, not that y. This y, I'm going to rewrite as e to the power of ln of y. And now I have this is equal to ln of 10 over 2. And now if I take the w Lambert function on both sides, this simply equals to ln y. So I have, I'm left with ln y equals the w Lambert function of ln 10 over 2. Now if I take e to the power of both sides, I get e to the power of ln y is equal to e to the power of w of ln 10 over 2. And these two cancel out, so I'm left with y is equal to e to the power of w of ln 10 over 2. And x, y is the same thing as the square root of x. So I get x is equal to 3.453.